to draw the elephant, I started by folding my paper because when I cut him out, I wanted him to be able to stand up. And I made some little dots here and here because that's how big I wanted the body to be. And then I made a little V shape here that would indicate the, the space between the body and the head. Then I curved around and came back up in a U shape to make the trunk, then across, and then back down. And then I made a little tusk like this, then a little round space, and then down for the leg. I made the other side of the leg, and then made a straight line across, and then made some little curves. Then for the body, I made a little, slightly a little curve, and then a line down, and then a line down over here, and a straight line, and then again some little curves. Now I'm going to come up to the top again, and I'm going to make a little bitty tail, and then back up, and then curve out slightly down to the leg. And I'm going to come back and draw the ear and the eye. Then I'm going to add a few lines. And you can do this as you like to just make some texture. And then it's ready to cut out. Now to make the little giraffe, I folded the paper sideways because the draft is so tall. I'm going to start at the top, make a little line, and then this little horn-like thing that's on the top, and then the has a little bit of a mane. Curve around and down, back around, a little line for the mouth, and then a little line for the chin. I'm going to go ahead and make the ear and the eye. Then I'm going to go down a long ways and start curving out and down and straight across and back up. Then I'm going to curve a little bit here to show the back leg. A line down, back up, and then a curve in. Then I'm going to make a line for the tail, then a straight line down for the hoofs. Then you can draw the inside, the spots on the giraffe, just randomly. They're not any special way. Thanks for watching, and be sure to click the subscribe button, and remember to always be kind.